In this video, you'll learn how to create a high quality professional business website, just like this business website that I created for my digital marketing agency. This website has several different pages like services pages. You can see we have this really professional and high quality services page. Then if you have this about us page, then there is this case studies page. And of course this contact us page. The most important thing about this video is this prompt because I have created this really detailed prompt for you. Using this prompt, we can create high quality SEO friendly business websites, and then you can just customize this prompt as per your needs. So this is going to be a very detailed beginner friendly step by step video. So if you have never written a single line of code or you are non-technical person, this video is still for you. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. Our goal for this video is to reach 1000 likes. First thing that you need to do, you need to download Cursor. Cursor is an AI code editor and you can download Cursor from this website which is cursor.com and then from here simply just download it for Windows or if you are using Mac just download it for Mac. Once you have downloaded and installed Cursor, next step that you need to do, you need to make sure that you have installed Node.js locally on your computer. You can simply just come to this website which is Node.js.org and then you can simply download Node.js and then you can simply just install Node.js. After that, you need to install npm package manager on your computer. You can simply just copy this command from here and then just paste this inside your terminal, press enter and it will install npm on your computer. Now you need to make sure that you have installed Node.js and npm package manager on your computer correctly. To do that, you can simply just run both of these commands to check the current versions of Node and npm. So simply just open your terminal and then enter this and then you can see currently my Node version is version 20. Next thing is npm and then ask for version and then you can see my current npm version is 10.8.2 which is amazing all right so that means node.js and npm has been installed on my computer now these are just prerequisites if you're not a developer so these prerequisites are just required to make sure that your computer is ready to create a next.js project now next step is to customize this prompt you can just get the link for this prompt from description and once you have opened this link now you need to just go through it and then you need to customize it you can either use chat gpt you can directly copy it from here because i have created this prompt as a general and then using chat gpt i customized this prompt and then i created this prompt let's suppose changed it for a digital marketing agency company so let's suppose if i want to develop a website for a digital marketing agency so i have just updated this prompt for that i have mentioned here project overview which is you are building a statically generated service-based website for a digital marketing agency in the uk all of the images are stored in slash public slash images slash folder. I'll guide you that in a minute that how we can add all of these images in this folder. After that, the most important thing is actually your business detail. You need to provide your specific business details, your specific services that what services your company offers. Like I have mentioned my services here, which is SEO, PPC advertising, social media marketing, content marketing, web design and development, email marketing and analytics and remote reporting. Next, there is a location section. So whatever locations you are focusing on, then you can just provide the cities of that particular location. So let's suppose I'm only focused on in UK. So I have provided this London and then after that I have provided Manchester and then Birmingham, Liverpool, Leeds, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Bristol, Newcastle, and then Sheffield and Cardiff. So you can just like provide all of the locations. Let's suppose if geographically your locations are in different countries or in different continents, you can specify all of that in here in your location section. After that, there is an SEO guideline. This is just a standard SEO guideline that almost every single Next.js project should have to have a better SEO. There is a technical setup so i have just like provided again a very standard guideline in here as well now this is really important that you customize this prompt as per your needs because the more precise your information will be your results will be better as well if you customize this prompt carefully cursor will be able to create a better website for you with all of your requirements that you have mentioned in this prompt now next step is to set up your next.js project to do that just open cursor simply just search for cursor if you have already installed simply just open cursor on your computer this is how it will look like once you will open it for the first time then simply just click on this open project button and after that just choose a folder inside your computer i have just created this empty folder then i'll just click on this select folder button and just like that now my folder is opened inside cursor now next what i need to do i need to simply just click on these 
top right toggle panel button so i'll simply just click on this button and then it will just open this terminal section in here now next step is to create an empty next.js project to do that we need to run a command and you can find that command in here inside your nextjs.org slash docs on this website so after you open that then simply just click on this installation button in here and after that this is the command that you need to run now just copy this command from here and then go back to cursor and then paste that command inside cursor simply just press enter and now within just a couple of seconds it will ask you to create the name for your project now i'll just add the name for my business so i'll just add digital marketing agency press enter now it will just ask you for all of these options you can simply just click on keep pressing on enter button to choose the default selected options so just simply keep pressing on enter enter and after that then let it just download and install all of the dependencies once the dependencies are installed now next we'll just open our folder directly now within just a couple of minutes it will finish installing all of the dependencies and on your left side you can see your next.js project has been created all of the files are created in here now as you can see this is our project folder which is digital marketing agency and then there is another folder and that folder is base web 2 so that's actually my folder name that i created an empty folder on my computer so what i need to do i need to open this folder directly inside cursor because if i ask cursor to do something so sometimes actually cursor can get confused and it can actually start creating files inside this biz web folder so to avoid that sort of confusion what you can do you can simply just open this folder directly inside cursor so cursor will have this folder as the root folder for your main next.js project so to do that simply just go to files then just go to open folder simply just choose your folder in here and then plus select folder now you can see our digital marketing agency folder is the root folder of this project so now whenever cursor agent will try to create any new files so it will actually create in this root directory next step is you need to simply just copy this prompt from here just copy all of it from here and then we need to then paste that inside our chat option in here i'll just paste that in here and then you can just make sure that your agent option is selected from here and after that just make sure that you can use either cloud zone at 3.7 or cloud zone at 3.5 we're going to use cloud zone at 3.7 and then we'll see that how it works before i press enter in here next thing that i need to do i need to just create a dot cursor rules file and then i just need to add some content inside that file to create a dot cursor rules file simply just click on this new files button after that just write create dot c u r s o r r u l e s dot cursor rules and that's it now this is what you had to create an empty dot rules file next we need to copy content for that dot cursor rules file i have provided that link as well this is the github repository you can find that link in description and in here inside this github repository just go to dot cursor rules file and from here just copy the content of this dot cursor rules file from here go back to cursor and then paste that content in here then press save so now what this does this actually i created a separate video about this approach of creating dot cursor rules file this way your cursor ai agent will start acting as devon what is devon devon is world's first ai software engineer you can have a look at devon.ai this is considered to be like world's first ai software engineer and the only problem is inside pricing if you see it costs around 500 dollars per month but rather than paying 500 dollars per month we can actually turn cursor to act as devon so the best way to do that is just update the dot cursor rules file and then you can simply just make cursor to act like devon i won't go in further details that how dot cursor rules file work and how devon works i have created a separate video for that you can just watch that video on my youtube channel all right so once dot cursor rules file has been created and you have provided this content in here now next step is now you can just press on this send button in here just press enter and now it will just start creating our project the project that we just like asked it to create with all of the structure and all of the content that we just mentioned inside our prompt right now what it is it is doing it is just like scanning our current directory in here because we have mentioned that you are inside your next or just project 
So now it is just going to scan all of this directory. It is just going to find what files we already have and what files and what folder and what structure we need to create. Right now it is updating this dot cursor rules file and this is where it is actually acting as Daven AI because it is now planning all of its tasks. It has added all of these tasks inside this scratch pad. So now it is just follow all of these tasks step by step. Now it is asking me to create a public slash images folder to use images inside our project. I'll just press on accept and after that I'll just run that command and now it will create that folder. Now you can see inside public slash images folder we have this empty folder created in here after we finish our first prototype of our website then we'll actually add images into our images folder in here and then we'll use those images on our website now next it is going to create this api folder i'll just click on this run command once you have like provided that prompt now most of your work is to simply just click on this accept button or just make sure that what it is doing it will run all of these commands it will create all of these files itself all you'll have to do you, you just have to like stay in loop and then keep pressing on accept accept and enter and all right after just few minutes it has just completed this task let's just go through what it has done so far so this is the prompt that we gave after that it started creating this after that it just updated this dot cursor rules file after that it created this uh, images directory after that it updated this next dot config dot ts file then it created this directory which is api then after that it created this directory after that it created this services dot ts file this is actually a data file it will mention all of the services in there after that it created this location.ts file that again is a data file it will have the locations data then there is translations file then there is then there is this components directory. So now let's just try to run our project and see what it has created. So to run our project, you can simply just run this command, which is npm run dev. Just enter, just add that, just write that command and then press enter. And now it should run this command locally on our local host. Now it has provided this local host URL. I'll just click on this URL. It's loading our project. Hopefully there is no error. Apparently there is an error in globals.css file. So I'll just copy this error from here. I'll just go back to cursor. I'll paste that error in here and ask it to fix that error. I'll just press enter and now it should just like fix this. Error. All right, so apparently it has fixed that error and now we are running our project again. Let me just open this URL once again. And this is what it has created. So this is a landing page for digital marketing agency. This is the design. I'm actually quite happy with this design. I mean, it's not that bad. I think it still has not created some pages. So yeah, so these pages are still not there but then we can actually now create all of these pages one by one. I'm happy with the based on the description that I provided the in, in, inside that prompt. So it has created all of that. Now, one thing that you might have noticed here is this looks very blank. There are no images in here. So we can actually add images in our images folder directory in here. Inside public folder, there's an image folder that we created when we gave that prompt to our cursor agent. So it created this images folder directory. So now we can actually add images inside this images folder. So we can just like download any images that whatever you're gonna like download. You can like download images for your digital marketing agency. You can now get images from anywhere and then provide those images in this directory, name those images, and then you can ask cursor agent to like based on these images which are actually in here inside this directory it can actually add all of those images inside this landing page to download free images you can use either freepick you can just go to freepick.com and then you can just look for images for your business and then in here you can get a lot of free images or even you can use something like unsplash and or you can use something like mid journey and you can create images for your business using ai now to create rest of the pages i can ask cursor ai agent to like create all of the pages please create all of the pages for my website all of the pages that you have mentioned on header section please create all of the pages with the relevant content that i mentioned then simply just press enter and now it will just like start creating all of the pages for your website so yeah this is so far the easiest way to create your business website this prompt simplifies everything for us and by just providing this prompt we can create a full-fledged business website within just few minutes right now you can see this prompt that we gave it to like create all of the remaining pages so it is working on that still all right now it has created this services page then it has created this about us page so if you just go back to our website and inside the services section so we can see it has created all of these different services it looks really professional really elegant and really nice design similarly it has created this about us page as well then it has created this case studies page again it is missing these images you can add these images 
inside that images folder then it can actually start showing those images in here then it has created this learning page as well again on learning page it is still missing those images you can add all of these images one by one and right now you can see it is creating this contact page as well apparently it has just finished creating that contact page so if you just open that you can see right now that contact page is also created you can customize all of these details as you want you can customize this design further and you can change any content that you want again this website is fully seo friendly and now next step is you can just deploy this website i have created a separate video about how you can easily deploy your next rgs project i will leave the link for that video in description you can find that in description and if you have any further questions you can leave that in comment section as well i'll see you next video bye, -bye.